May I request the Honorable Speaker to uh, start the proceedings with the drill? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Motram Janab Bilawal Bhutto Zardari Sahab, Foreign Minister of Pakistan and Chairman Pakistan People's Party. Dr. Nafisa Shah MNA and Convener of the International Constitutional Convention Committee. Foreign and National Delegates panelists, participants, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to all the distinguished panelists and esteemed guests. We finally come to the conclusion of this two-day international constitutional convention and I am honored to welcome you all to the closing plenary titled Building Inclusive and Equal Societies, Challenges and Opportunities. It has been a privilege to partake in this shared experience with you, engaging in a mutual exchange of knowledge and insights from which we have both undoubtedly benefited greatly. I am particularly grateful to my chairman of Pakistan People's Party and the foreign minister of our country, Mr. Blawal Bhutto Zardari, for making it convenient to join us for the closing plenary. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, you have come straight from Karachi, especially for this convention, and it reflects your personal commitment to the ideals of democratic values, constitutionalism, and rule of law. As a proud inheritor of a long legacy of sacrifices for the origination and later the restoration of our constitution, you symbolize the ideals for which Shahid Zulfikar Ali Bhutto went to gallows. Shaheed Motrama Benazir Bhutto embraced Shahadat, and President Asif Ali Zardari spent more than 11 years behind bars. Indeed, it was this continued struggle that guided the people of Pakistan to remain committed to the Constitution of Pakistan. Our leader, Shaheed Motarma Benazir Bhutto, filled our hearts and minds by telling us the forces of moderation and democracy must and will prevail against extremism and dictatorship. I will not be intimidated. Her entire life, and indeed in her death, she proved no one could intimidate her, but at the same time, she inculcated among us that politics is not personal, leadership is not selfish, and so she said, and I quote, we do not believe in politics of revenge. We believe democracy is the best revenge. It is these very ideals which remain our guiding principles, which bind us to the sacred document of our Constitution, and which must be passed on to the new generation through constant informed discussions such as this 
important convention. As we come to the close of this enlightening convention, I want to take a moment to reflect on the theme that has guided our discussion throughout this event, my constitution guarantee of my freedoms. Adherence and implementation of constitutions is the bedrock of any working, all-inclusive and participatory democracy. It is the security valve to check self-perpetuation of power, populism, mob rule, and emergence of fascism in our society. These are the lessons that we learned in these two days. We witnessed proceedings of six breakouts and four plenary sessions, including this closing plenary. In each meeting, the panelists and the participant delve deeply into the intric intricacies of constitutional law exploring how constitutions can serve as cornerstones of individual and collective freedom. We have examined the changing landscape of constitutions in a rapidly evolving world and debated the balance between federalism and devolution of powers. We have considered the critical role of constitutions in ensuring representation, promoting economic justice, and combating climate justice. Through our fruitful discussions, we have been reminded of the timeless importance of constitutions in safeguarding our freedoms. Even as we face unprecedented challenges in our modern age, we look to the future we must remain vigilant in our commitment to protecting and advancing the rights enshrined in our Constitution. The outcome document will comprehensively focus on the fruits for thoughts that the Convention generated and which will be presented to you shortly. On my part, I wish to express, express my sincere gratitude to all the speakers, moderators, participants, especially the foreign delegates from all the brotherly 14 countries. Each one of you, through your valuable contributions, have made this convention a success. Your insightful thoughts and constructive engagement have been invaluable in enriching our collective understanding of constitutional law. This is itself shows that democracy is all about dialogue. It's all about listening to divergent views and respecting differences of opinion. As I conclude, I once again thank you all and wish our foreign delegates a safe return. Some of you had to face some inconvenience and unnecessary delays during your transportation due to the sudden political surge for which on behalf of the National Assembly Secretariat offer our sincere regrets. I am sure that as politician, you are all well privy to such changing circumstances and will surely ignore any inconvenience with an open heart. I thank you all.